Shalom, everyone. We'll begin our service in three minutes. Shalom, Sue. Let's see else is here. And we'll do a little bit of a test to see if the chat function is working. is working. means profound peace. Shalom Rav. Peace profound. It is a prayer that everyone has and a phrase that I love. Just the idea of profound peace sounds like something that we should strive for on a daily basis and certainly is something that we reach for as we pray for an evening service. In Hebrew, a Ma'ariv service. Ma'ariv means evening. As we try to live every moment and love the Yonkers. I'm Erev Tov, everybody. My name is Rabbi Nancy Tunick, and I am the rabbi at Temple B'nai Israel in Florence, Alabama. I'm also one of the founding rabbis of the UJUC, which is the Union of Jewish Universalist Communities. Sim Shalom is, of course, the charter congregation. And we're so glad that you are with us this evening. We'll be using the Rabbi Nancy Sidor on the right-hand side. We'll be using both the chat function and the social stream for Misha Berach names and for uh, the Mourner's Kaddish for names of those whom you have lost. We will be doing some responsive reading. It's a lot of English, and there is a lot of cantorial prayers, most of them original settings. They include both English and Hebrew transliteration. So if you do have an instrument, please join in, because I actually included the chords so that we could create a virtual band and chorus. So we're going to start on page two. The greatness of the Eternal One surpasses our understanding, and yet at times we feel his nearness. Overwhelmed by awe and wonder as we behold the signs of his presence, still we feel within us a kinship with the divine. And so we turn to you, O God, looking at the world about us, and inward to the world within us, there to find you, and from your presence gain life and strength. Together we say, Baruch Hu Ed Adonai Hambarach, praise the Lord to whom our praise is due, Baruch Adonai HaBaruch Weolam Ba'ed. Praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due now and forever. And on page three, we sing. Now and forever. 
we turn to page four and we say pivotal words, really key words in our tradition. We say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Hashem Kavod Machuto Le'olam Va'ed. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. And together on page five, we sing those words. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai with God and one with all. We continue on page seven with the Via Hafta. On page six, we have the Hebrew. If you want to chant the traditional. We're on page seven, we sing. Via Hafta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol lovcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol miodecha you shall love the Lord with all your mind, with all your strength and all your being. Set these words upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them. Page nine, responsively, infinite God, creator and redeemer of all being, you are most high, most near. In all generations, we have cried out to you. We have put our trust in you. We have borne witness to your truth before the nations. Oh, now let your light and your truth appear to us and lead us. Let them bring us to your holy mountain. Together we say, we shall not fear then, though earth itself should shake, though the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters thunder and rage, though the winds lift its waves to the very vault of heaven, we shall not fear, for you are with us. We shall rejoice in your deliverance. Then shall we know you, our Redeemer and our God, and in the shadow of your wings we shall sing with joy. Together we sing on page 11, the Michamocha, as we thank God for his many wonders. Thank you. 
Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. Together at the bottom of page 12, we say, Blessed is the Eternal One, Guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. So we continue with the tefillah on page 14. Continue on page 13 with the Avot. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohei avotenu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak velohei Yaakov. Ha'el hagadol hagibor v'hanara el elyon gomel hasadim tovim v'konei hakol v'zocher haste Avot. Umei vigu ula livnei v'nei hem l'ma'an shemo v'hava. Melech hozero Mashiach v'magain Baruch atah Adonai magain Avraham. We continue on page 16 and we sing together. Your beauty is just beyond our eyes. It's a wonderful thought as we take some time to meditate on the meaning of holiness and the meaning of God in our lives. It's just beyond our eyes. So we have an opportunity to see the beauty that is seen by our eyes, but also to see the holiness that's just beyond it. And in a time when we are potentially overcome with fear, and in the Hashkivenu we try to put our faith in a place that says you are with us despite the storms and the waves. And it's a terrible week, terrible time in Houston and as Hurricane Irma approaches Florida. And so we take some time to meditate on the beauty that is just beyond our eyes and the holiness that we can find and connect with and the miracles that exist when we look for them. And so we take a few moments for a silent meditation and this is an opportunity for us to connect to all of that, to pray for those 
who feel fear to pray for ourselves and to potentially listen and listen for that still small voice within. I'll take a few moments to pray for those who are in need of healing. And those are people who are in need of healing of their bodies, of their spirits. And this is where we speak those names aloud. If you will use the chat function or the social stream to type in the names, we will speak those names out loud together. And there is a beautiful setting of the Misha Berach, one that has become so standard in reform synagogues across the country, and some conservative, even Debbie Friedman, who was a cantorial soloist, who lived a life with illness and was very familiar with the need for healing. She wrote uh, Misha Berach that we sing on page 20. And if you will type in those names, we'll sing half of the Misha Berach and then we'll speak the names aloud and then we will continue uh, with the rest of the prayer. Misha. Amisha Berach for Russell, Amber, Dylan, Ken, Jean, Steve, and Marlene. Also for Lillian, Zoe, Renee, and Alan, Mara, Jeff, There are other names for the Mishaberach, of course, the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Blair and Don. Susie and Irene. Valerie and Erin, Maddie, Trey, Izumi, Mayo, Malcolm, Bonnie, Rose, and Albert. And if there are any other names for the Misha Berach, please speak them out loud where you are, and then we will continue joining our voices together in this prayer. It is said that when you join your voice together in prayer, that prayer reaches God's ears faster. And so we sing that prayer together. The 
Continue now on page 22. Oh, let us Turn to page 23. <laughs> And it has been said, the Lord shall reign over all the earth. On that day, the Lord shall be one and his name shall be one. So we now take a few moments to remember those whom we have lost, those in recent days, at this time in years past, our loved ones, and ones who have been important in our lives and for our people and for all people. And we speak those names aloud because when we speak the names aloud, we bring their memory into our hearts, but also we bring them into our lives. And it allows us to strive to be the people that they were in their best moments. So if you will type those names into the chat function and the social stream, we will speak those names aloud. And we will then say the mourner's Kaddish. And it is a prayer that is sometimes thought to be mystical. It is actually, though, a prayer spoken in memory of the dead. It is a prayer about life and about peace. And it is a prayer that does not mention death. It talks about the Lord giving us peace, the same peace that reigns in the high heavens. And we pray that that peace is felt in Israel and around the world. And as we began at the beginning of this service with the idea of profound peace, a profound peace, a shalom rav. And so we recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. And on this evening, we remember Alex Albert, James, Niv, Mr. Jerry, Mr. Mims, Billy Ray. We remember the victims of 
the terrible storm in Texas of Hurricane Harvey. We remember those we lost in the Shoah, some who have no surviving family to remember them. We remember Joshua Ben-Ami, Susan Gephardt, Martha Foote, James Green, And if there are any other names for the mourners Kaddish, please type them now. We light candles, York's light candles, on the anniversary of a death rather than on the anniversary of a birth because it commemorates all of the wonderful mitzvot accomplished in a life. It celebrates a whole life. And the only way to celebra celebrate that life in its entirety is to remember it as it concluded. And so not a sad thought, but rather a thought of all of the value and all of the love that our loved ones gave to us and to the world. So if the name was not read aloud that you typed, please speak it aloud where you are, and the memories of all of them are with us. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled as we praise God, and we also pray for the coming of God's kingdom. And so together we turn to page 25. And we say, Yikadav yikadashime raba, the Alma divrahirute, the Amlich Mahute Bahayechon, the Omechon, Uvahay de Hobbet Israel. Bagalad is man karib, the Imru, Amen. Yehe shime raba, me varachli alamul alme almaya, Yeparach vishtabach via paar vayet roman, viet nasse, viet hadar viet ale, viet halal shame de kud shabir hu, the alaming ko birchata vishirata. Tushbachata v'nechamata da amiran v'yama v'imru amen. Yehei shlama raba min shmaya v'chayim aleinu v'yakol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'mromav hu ya ase shalom aleinu v'yakol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved as together we say amen. We conclude our service with a line from our sages, a thought from our sages, that we must pray as if it is all up to God. We must act as if it is all up to us. We are challenged to do mitzvot. By doing so, we make our lives a blessing. So, Lila Tov, everybody. I look forward to seeing you next week. I think Rabbi Galit will be with you tomorrow night, and Rabbi Steve will be with you to welcome Shabbat on Friday night with wonderful song and prayer. And there are a lot of wonderful bits of information, inspiration, even recipes on Seam Shalom's Facebook page. So if you have not liked that, go ahead over there. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Lahit Ra'ot.